Hello, and welcome to That's The Point. This is the place where we talk about construction technology. My name is Corey Meyer, flying solo here today in the studio, so I don't have a co-pilot today. But that's because we have a really straightforward and uh, oft-requested topic as GNSS gains more and more popularity um, within the building's environment. Um, we're starting to see a lot more inquiries into the support desk and other, and other areas from our support guys um, about asking how to update the firmware on their GNSS receiver. So that's what we're gonna do today. Really simple and straightforward. Um, we should note though that firmware updates are included the first year after you purchase the GNSS, um, but if for subsequent years, you will need to make sure that you're on an annual uh, Trimble protected plan, which is not a big issue. Just reach out to your local building point representative and they'll be happy to help you um, get under maintenance with that. So the other things we're gonna need, obviously we need a receiver. That's the first thing we need to, to have to upgrade, update it, uh, the firmware. You're also going to need a PC. We're going to use a T100 just for simplicity's sake. You can do this with any PC that has Trimble Installation Manager installed. We're also going to need uh, the included USB to LIMO uh, cable that came with your GNSS receiver. Um, so you're going to need that to pull that out. And in the case of the T100 or maybe your brand new laptop, you will also need a USB-C to USB-A adapter um, because this, this LIMO to USB cable is still USB-A. So you will need that. Um, in certain cases, the Trimble one that's, in, that's included works, um, but really any USB adapter will work in this case. So that being said, now we can go ahead and connect this and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our receiver, we're actually gonna just power it on. Um, so we're gonna power that on, let that start booting up. We're gonna take the plug out of the Limo connector, and that's the silver, the sol smaller silver connector on the bottom. We wanna connect this USB cable um, to that. It's important when you're lining this up, uh, just to make sure that you don't kind of manhandle this and, and, and bend some pins in there. Um, we like to realign up the red dot to the red dot um, on the base of the receiver to the base or to the, to the cable. We're gonna snap that right in there. No problem, that's an easy connection. Uh, and then we're also going to connect this end. I'm gonna put this into the USB-C to A adapter, which we can then plug into the tablet. And so once that happens, you'll see that the tablet then recognizes it. Um, it does see a storage or it might bing uh, if you have the sound up. Um, so any number of things, but we do know now that it is connected to the tablet. Um, and now we're actually ready to launch Trimble Installation Manager. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into Trimble Installation Manager, double tap that, give it permission to run. And now it's actually gonna come up. We can actually uh, select, if it's not selected already, you can go down to receiver um, and the ones that are supported. So we wanna click connect. We're gonna gain some more information. On the Trimble tablets, you will see that there is a, a Trimble USB option in here, and that is a COM port. Um, so that COM port can change. So it, it could be any number of COM ports, but the Trimble USB part lets you know that that's the one that you wanna to connect to. We'll tap OK. And if for whatever reason, this doesn't connect right away, um, or if it's not seeing your receiver, it's really easy to just power cycle the receiver it's still an old school comm connection um, in the background. So you might have to re reset that or reboot your receiver um, and it'll connect right up. Okay, so here we are. It's now downloaded all the information from the receiver, which is really cool. You can actually tap on this little device information tab. It gives you all kinds of really good information that maybe support might need down the road, the support desk. Um, it gives your warranty and your, your firmware maintenance expiration dates. Super, super handy stuff. Um, to be able to, to gain a little bit of insight into your receiver and how it's actually set up. Um, but what we wanna actually look at now is how to upgrade the firmware. And it's just like FieldLink, up in the upper right-hand corner, you have your version, and we can tap on latest release, and it's going to go out to the server. You have to make sure you're connected to the internet, of course. Um, but it's now gonna go out to the Trimble servers. It is gonna get that latest version, and we're just gonna tap install. And there we go. So with that, we know that it's upla updated. It does say that your device is up to date and ready to use. We're now able to unplug it. Got a brand new firmware, ready to go. That's all it is, it's simple, fast, and you're done. So again, if you have any questions or if you're unsure about these steps, make sure you reach out to your local building point representative. They're happy to help. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's The Point.